from the gospel according to luke chapter 4 verse 16 to 30 jesus came to nazareth where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the sabbath day he stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet isaiah he unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor he has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the lord rolling up the scroll he handed it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him he said to them today the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing and all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth they also asked is this not the son of joseph he said to them surely you will quote me this proverb physician cure yourself and say Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you. No prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent but only to a widow in Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elijah the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this they were all filled with fury. They rose up drove him out of the town and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong but he passed through the midst of them and went away and jesus begins by saying today the scripture has been fulfilled let us dwell on this today The word of God is always today. Isaiah's prophecy dates back to earlier centuries, but Jesus, in the power of the Spirit, makes it relevant and a power all brings it to fulfillment and shows how to receive the word of God today. It speaks to your heart today. Jesus's fellow countrymen are struck by his word. Even though clouded by prejudice, they do not believe him. They realize that his teaching is different from that of the other teachers. They sense that there is more to Jesus. What is there? There is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it happens that our sermons and our teachings remain generic, abstract. They do not touch the soul and the life of the people. And why? because they lack the power of this today what jesus fills with meaning in the power of the spirit is today he is speaking to you today